Well, I figure we got to stall until Bruce shows up. Oh, that's one course of action, but not the only one. Oh, well, please, we're all ears, Mr. Heller, and because I'm supposed to call Dieter back to set up a little get-together. Well, you might have to see him alone. That idea doesn't seem to bother you very much. Well, didn't Peterson discuss the possibility with you that this might happen? No. No. Prostitution was not a part of the job description. Well, you guys in the agency have this all worked out? Now, She's on. risking her life to help you trap this guy. That's enough. Come on, now. You've read Dieter's dossier. This can't come as a big surprise. Look, now, I'll tell you what the surprise is, is your attitude. She's not in this alone. We're all working on this together. We don't throw her to the wolves just because one of the wolves wants her. There is no intention to discriminate against Miss Beaufort. Now, whoever Dieter was uh, attracted to would mm -hmm. be in the same spot she is. But what's the situation? Depends. I guess most everybody would react the way you are at first. Then I guess some might reconsider. I suppose a little uh, personal sacrifice is in order. Oh, please. You're making it sound like it's my patriotic duty. Look, I can't solve all the, all the moral dilemmas that arise with this line of work. I just take one murky decision at a time. Yeah, what, what, if what? you have a better idea, please, please let me know. You know what? I think you're getting off on this, aren't you? Are what? you? I find it a little hard to believe your profound shock and disgust at the unspeakable acts that Ms. Beaufort might be called on to perform. Uh -huh. Now, when I first met her, she was in jail for crimes that uh, would be called sleazy, even by my low That's standards. Right. She's certainly no stranger to the fine art of using sex to get what she wants. Fine, but she doesn't oh, Michael! Out. Michael! <laughs> forget it. Don't give him the satisfaction. He's enjoying it, aren't you? See how I'm laughing? Yeah. Yeah, fine. I'll tell you what's going to happen. She doesn't go to Dieter until we locate Cruz. I want you to call him right now, and we'll put him off again. Put him off again? How? Just tell him your partner's busy, all right? I'll coach you as we go along. Yes. Oh, well, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you sooner, but I wasn't able to reach Raoul until just now. Um, and he's, he's going to be tied up for a little while longer, so I'm afraid we can't see you right away. But as I mentioned before, I don't require both of you to be present for this occasion. Can you tell me, is the uh, military hardware ready for delivery to uh, my country? Not yet, but I... Well, I'd prefer to wait until it was before anyway. There will be no problems, I assure you. The deal will go quite smoothly as long as all parties concerned feel their needs are being met. Oh, well, I certainly will be when the shipment arrives. Please let me know when it does. He met his match. Oh, it's easier over the phone. I just wish Cruz was around. Do you think yeah. something's happened to him? I don't know. I'd like to go over to his house. Oh, don't worry. I won't undermine your influence. Good. Will you call me and let me know whatever comes up? I got it. Well, there's really no need for you to be sticking around. Thank you. I want to apologize if I offended you. I didn't mean to. Oh. Oh, you just wanted me to be clear on what women are expected to give up for their country. No. I just want you and your dragon slayer, Officer Donnelly, to wise up. And when you agreed to this assignment, you didn't sign on for parlor games. There is something about this French woman and her South American cohort that just doesn't sit right with me. Okay, is there anything else you need done? Well, if you wouldn't mind getting a copy of the architect's original plans to head Dieter as soon as possible, I'd appreciate that. All right, I'll take care of it. Hey, what did you tell me? Oh. What did you tell me? I don't have to report my actions to you, Michael, especially when you're stonewalling me. All right, look, I don't have time for this. You want to hear the story? You can come with Let me. Let go of me. Look, I don't have the clearance to tell you what you want to know, but I'm on my way to find the man who does, and you are coming with me. 